Hi Bob Grinier, this is the instrument package that we have brought here to Japan for Project Omaza and I'm going to run you through what we have here. Uh, there's one missing thing we're trying to find and I'll talk about that later but uh, I hope this audio comes through clear but anyway let's go through it. So what we have here is some uh, just note taking things and these are all sample vials and, and stuff. This is all for samples over here, sample containers, gloves and, and so forth. There's some aluminium foil here that we can use and that's going to go over there and I'll talk about that later. Uh, some basic uh, graph paper for note taking and ICCF uh, 21 pen there and we, we have a tape measure here. Uh, uh, gaffer tape, you obviously need that everywhere you go in the world uh, to uh, uh, lock things and tie things up and stick things onto things. Uh, we have our clock here uh, so that we can have that running in the background uh, for time syncing. Uh, uh, then for uh, various types of detection, uh, we have uh, an analysis. Uh, I went ahead and threw this on my credit card, it was probably not a good idea, but here we go. Uh, Dino light, uh, high speed. Uh, Real-time, uh, 220 times magnification with uh, depth of field and uh, uh, polarization of light. And there's a microscope stand there and I uh, tested it and it works very nicely. Um, uh, you might have seen that looking at the echo fuel. So with a quick test we produce some uh, really great visuals. But anyway, this is the Narugo which we've seen before. So we have a uh, 400 times close-up magnification and uh, magnification of materials that we can see at some distance using this microscope. And then we have our 384 kilohertz uh, ultrasonic microphone here and we have our hydrophone here and we have our standard sort of uh, lapel microphone here. So we've got various ways of monitoring sound and that'll all be done with this device here which is an old uh, Galaxy Note 2. Um, then in terms of uh, videography we've got all kinds of things, obviously the, the phones um, but we've got the Optris here uh, for measuring uh, thermal temperatures from minus 20 to 1500 degrees. Uh, so we'll be looking at um, both effects on metals at the high temperature range and see if they're actually achieving that. And, we'll, and um, the gas uh, flames, the various types of gas flames to measure their temperatures. And we'll also be looking at uh, the, you know, what happens when various metals or whatever are treated. I might have said that already, but anyway, <laughs> we have some uh, grippy tripods, some other tripods, um, a camera here. Uh, we have uh, some really powerful LEDs here that we can uh, shine through uh, and uh, hopefully get some motion. I have a, a strobe system on here uh, where we can control the strobe frequency on this and hopefully that might assist us in characterizing uh, any oscillations. Uh, we have our uh, GoPro here which we can do at wide XGA I think it is at 240 frames a second and we'll put that into the tank uh, to try and uh, see what's going on with the veins. Uh, we have our spherical camera so that we can uh, get a whole view of everything that's going on. Uh, we have my old trusty 7D uh, and I have a bunch of lenses for that. Over here we have uh, the macro lens uh, there we go, and uh, just a, a normal 50 mil here. Um, then uh, we have for radiation, strange radiation, um, we have uh, alpha, beta, gamma on uh, the Russian built uh, pancake detector here. Then we have this one uh, for sort of east mog meter for electric field, uh, RF, uh, magnetic field, and so forth, uh, which we've seen before. Uh, we have a, a 10 by 7 um, uh, two, times 2 400 ASA negative here. Uh, and then we have uh, some CDs here for looking uh, for strange radiation using the Zhigilov Parkamov uh, method. There's also some foil for masking, and that's where the stick on aluminium foil comes from, so we can make some shapes uh, from that to stick on um, as well to see if we can actually mask off areas. And uh, then we also also have, of course, our uh, Logitech camera here uh, at, for, uh, again, looking for strange radiation and also for documenting things. And then we have uh, these uh, so-called Dentafilm uh, self-developing x-rays 
here, uh, which has been interesting to keep those at the right temperature all this time. Uh, then uh, this thing, which we might have been talking about for some time, uh, we have one capsule with uh, uh, carbon in it. This is charcoal based carbon and this has uh, got potassium carbonate in. Thankfully I didn't have to prove what these were in. They, they got through fine and uh, we've got some two-part epoxy here to seal those up tomorrow. And then in here we have the two ND50s and they will form a couple of functions and we're going to try them on this uh, photographic plate when exposed to the various reactors and we'll also try them near these um, self-developing x-rays when we're running experiments and even possibly uh, place them on the CDs. Then like um, this uh, thoriated tungsten rod and also the um, uh, also uh, this uh, uh, these tubes uh, of uh, uh, charcoal and uh, potassium carbonate and also the samarium uh, magnets in here um, they, they'll all form a part of other tests which I will talk about uh, as soon as I can possibly get round to it. Here we have a, a little multimeter that's got a, an amp clamp on it um, which might be our quick and dirty way of testing the power that's going into the various devices uh, so that's one. It also has a a, uh, a thermometer on there so we can test the temperature of the fluid bodies uh, with a uh, K-type thermocouple which is perfectly fine for the fluids in this. We have our trusty PCE uh, 830 for uh, more uh, power analysis uh, and then uh, we have a laptop to run a bunch of these equipments. The laptop will be used for the Geiger counter for the um, uh, PCE 830 for the Optus PI-160 uh, and so forth and a couple of other things maybe and then we have an oscilloscope maybe we're going to, we've got a spare piezo here and uh, wire that up maybe bond it onto uh, part of the device uh, or the devices uh, fix that on there to see if we can get any um, more granularity potentially on the data so uh, there's one thing missing which we're trying to find which is the indium foil uh, which is one for potential neutron detection but also for another purpose which is in line with the purpose of these various things which I'm going to talk about in detail. I'd like to have talked about it uh, before I could get here but there simply wasn't the time getting all this instrumentation package together and, and testing it all and uh, making sure everything else was arranged for the trip. Um, but that is uh, the basic instrumentation package for... Uh, Project Omar and uh, if you have any experiments that you think we should be doing during this week um, look at what uh, I'm publishing on the live document and uh, see if you think there's anything we could be using some of this equipment for or in different ways to ways we are reporting it to use uh, sorry the ways that we are uh, planning to use it uh, and uh, other suggestions for way we can arrange things uh, and uh, we'll see what we can do. So thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video.